Hello folks, welcome back. So what I'm going to show you is some pictures I've been taking with the Leica Q3. I'm finally getting some things to uh, figure out on this camera. But uh, I'm trying to take some night shots. And I do live in the uh, northeast area of San Antonio. So there is still a lot of city lights. So I try to point it in the dark area. And right here... It's at uh, f1.7. It's at 28 millimeters. It's a fixed lens on the Q3. But uh, I did it at uh, 120th of a second. And uh, it, I was pleased with the picture. Okay. Um, I go to the next one. Now I pointed it just about a little bit to the left. And you can, I was trying to point to the, uh, um, what is it, Hercules? I believe that's what it is. Uh, anyway, you can see how sharp it is, but you can see a lot of the light that's uh, bleeding into the picture from the city. So I was just trying different things. I put the exposure at uh, one-third. Or and it's at 1.7 and it's still at 28 millimeter. And uh, this time it was one half or one, yeah. Um, it just trying, it was like, uh, see if I could do like 30 seconds and then it reduced noise. All right, so it took another 30 seconds took a while so the pictures that I've been messing up and you'll see when I do these uh, um, one third again is uh, you can start looking at uh, the stars moving a little bit and whatever just trying out but uh, I've learned to keep it at the uh, highest aperture and just move up the shutter speed to get it the right uh, you know, the higher speed, but also it gets a little bit darker. Just get the right compensation, uh, or composition, I should say, um, for the picture. And I, I like these type better. So I moved it up to uh, 120th, and it's still at 1.7, and it's uh, 28 millimeter. And then, of course, uh, tried it again at, uh, you know, one third. 1.7 you either do the aperture if you reduce the uh, shutter speed or you uh, increase the shutter speed if you're going to keep the highest aperture so these are raw files okay and this one right here is still a raw file but yeah so I shot it back there away from the light and this was at uh, one fiftieth of a second that's why it's darker I like this type of view better and uh, now I'm gonna do some things with the camera which you can do so you can increase the uh, it's kind of like a, a zoom lens effect where it's a 28 millimeter but the way Leica has did it the lens stays focused in one position, but then it can do from a 28 to a 35 to uh, a 50 to a 75 and to a 90, you know, focal length. And each time as it moves up, you get less and less megapixels. So this one is at 1 50th of a second, still 1.7. I'm just taking some shots, dark. See how the low light performance is, and it it's actually good. It I I really am impressed with this camera. It's a little bit smaller than the um, ZF, but uh, it has pretty good stabilization, and the heat control is fantastic. Now this is more of a uh, photo camera instead of a movie camera but you can shoot 8k 
but they do have a 30 minute uh, record limit on. And the files are so huge, even at 4K, all right, that uh, I had to put a 512 gigabyte SD card in there. So let's go around. I'm just showing, you know, looking at the pictures. I'm not going to zoom or anything. Now I'm playing with the filter, okay? And you'll see what's going on. So, 1.6 is the shutter speed, f1.7. Okay. This is at 28 millimeters, so I'm starting to uh, deal with the zoom. This is like at 35 millimeters. This is back at 28 for some reason. All right, 35. All right, now it's at 50. Now it's at 75. And now it's at 90. So as you can see, if I go back, it's like uh, five different primes on this, all at uh, f1.7. And I, I thought that was very interesting. Uh, I shot at the light. I like what it did with this lighting right here where you can see the light bulbs, but then it's dark all the way around. It's fantastic. And then I locked the uh, uh, exposure and uh, that's what you got. I, I have it on hybrid mode. So it's, oh, the camera will figure out if it's either shutter or electronic. And I think this is shutter. But, uh, you know, this, this, I didn't raise the speed on this one. It's 1 50th. But uh, anyway, I'm back here to 28 millimeters. And I am like uh, 1600, 2000. Yeah. So, I'm playing with the CPL uh, filter. So, you can see what happened. That's just a reflection on the monitor. And it took it, all that off. And now, I think I'm doing the zoom again. Nope. Still messing with the, uh, uh, the uh, CPL. Uh, there's March's picks. So his hands were moving and stuff, but it's kind of clear. And then I, uh, you can see very clear on the monitor. I didn't see any lines or anything, which is, I like. The EBF can do 60 hertz or 120 hertz. Uh, for better battery life, I put it at 60 hertz. So I'm playing around with, uh, I changed the filters a different way because I've added filters on there. So it didn't get dark all the way. But uh, now I'm back to, uh, um, let's see, 28 and 90 millimeter. Okay. So instead of going step by step, that's 28, 90 millimeter. And then back to uh, 28. Uh, and the last few pictures I have of Wanda. So I'm doing the same thing, 28 millimeter. 28 again, I wanted to get a better shot. And then, of course, this is at 90. So, and for some, yeah, I, I turned the camera like a cell phone. And uh, anyway, I, on the, the pixels and stuff, I just want to do this real quick. I'm going to go to the plus sign. Uh, by 90, it should only get a 6 megapixel uh, picture. But I just want to see how sharp she is. And look at that. I mean, yeah, you see a little noise, but... You know, that's still a good picture. Okay. Excellent picture. So I'm happy uh, with what I got. I just want to say uh, thank you for uh, uh, viewing this. Um, any questions or comments, put it down in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. 
And remember, stay safe, keep smiling until next time. I shall see you then. Goodbye, folks. Have a wonderful day. And I have to bring my mouse over here.